Hey there, this is Tech 65. We're right here in the Motorola Milestone XT launch in Singapore. Uh, they launched, uh, Motorola and Starhub just launched this phone today. And um, so just take a look at the, the Milestone phone, a very quick first look at it. So um, the Milestone XT is basically the Milestone without a keyboard. That's, that's pretty much what this phone is about. Uh. And um, so in terms of, uh, just take a look, very quick look at the phone itself. Um, so you can see that it's got this, the same, um, one thing you notice is that it's very reflective, so you know, you're gonna have a little bit of difficulty focusing. But it's a little the same little uh itch curve thing on this on this side here. So uh full capacitive display, so you have four capacitive buttons at the bottom here, uh, microphone Right, so you have the camera shutter button, and then as well as uh, a special menu button. So what happened is that uh, so if you can actually see, uh, you can actually change the. Uh, it's locked right now. Press the back button. So you can actually change the the, the modes from. You can, you can actually see the light. They will light up here, and then they will just show you which which mode, which application that uh, you can actually switch to. So this is what uh, this button is. Uh. So it's not this the top part is not a touch screen. Camera shutter button. Uh, this is the volume control. Well, can we use it as a zoom as well, right? During the camera mode, yeah. Um, so uh, what else? So eight megapixel camera. This is the the difference between um, this phone and the uh, the milestone, right? So it has an eight megapixel camera with autofocus and this is really cool, Xenon Flash. Uh, another difference is that this phone actually comes with uh, HDMI. So it's right here. Yeah. So this is actually, um, I, is, I don't know what is the official name for this this port. This is actually a standard port. Um, it's a really small micro HDMI thing. Uh, the cable comes with the package, which is very cool. Because most of the time, uh, companies like to you know rip people off by making them go and buy that cable outside. But this one comes with the cable itself, so which is very cool. The HDMI cable is used to uh, playback video, so you connect it to HDMI. TV. And it's only video. It's uh, nothing else. So you can't uh, output the uh, screen itself. The user interface. Yeah. No, you can't. Yeah. So it's just for the, uh, the, the video playback, right? Uh, micro USB, of course, on this side. And uh, in terms of software, um, speaker at the back. Oh yes, it's a speaker, so you can see the grill is right here. Oh, by the way, this is not a Moto Blur phone. Just, just not mentioned. So this is their way of differentiating between their sort of like uh, their pro phones, no, not pro phones, business phones, higher end phones versus their normal phones. But this, uh, they styled it a little bit by adding the uh, the bottom area here, which is pretty much similar as the uh, Moto Blur kind of. But you don't get a any of the Moto Blur services. Yep. So in terms of software, this is Android 2.1, right? Um, uh, Motorola has mentioned that there is no commitment to, uh, it's capable of going up to 2.2, but uh, they have not committed to any date uh, in terms of upgrading to 2.2, all right? So this is Android 2.1 with a little bit uh, extra Moto Blur-ish kind of uh, menu. Bottom icons. The bottom yeah. icons. So in terms of custom applications, um, there are several, but I think they have their own media gallery, which is right here. Um, they have FM radio, by the way. This is also something that's not available on the original milestone. Um, they have, uh, they they customize the Android car home to become the Moto car home. They have an application called Moto Nav, uh, which is basically let's see, I'm not sure what it is. Where is it? Um, there it is. So Moto Nav right here. So Moto Nav is uh, basically it's, it's their own uh, navigation software. 60 days free trial, which with inbuilt uh, inbuilt maps already. Yep. So basically offline uh, navigation. Uh, yes. You don't need to have data. So the advantage is if you travel out of Singapore, for example, you like can still to Malaysia. Use it. Yep. And then uh, basically. Basically, 60 days. Uh, in Singapore, you get what, what are the four countries? Uh, Singapore, Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand, 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 Indonesia, Indonesia. Yeah, that's four. and Malaysia. Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Indonesia Thailand. Thailand. Four, four countries. Yeah. So these four countries, after 60 days, you can buy the uh, lifetime license. It's uh, almost about what? It's uh, about 45 euro. 45 euro. About there. Right, around there. So of course, uh, your usual uh, Google applications are all there. Uh, Moto Lounge will be a uh, this uh, sort of a hub for downloading. Uh, for free Wallpapers, free wallpapers, free contents, ringtones, contents, maybe. ringtones and whatnot. Uh, there's a propri not propri native StarHub TV application. Um, as mentioned earlier, this is an exclusive StarHub phone uh, for now. And um, one of the other things that we probably want to take a look that we might have missed out. The keyboard, yes. So let's just take a look. Let's open Notepad. Right, open a new uh, app. So they know. have their own um, They have their own uh, uh, Motorola keyboard. Yep. Which, so um, it's, it's, like that. Yeah, it, it's quite okay lah. Um, the, the thing, my only issue is that the, right now, for, the, space these bar person, the space bar is very small, small, that's all. So, yeah, otherwise it's actually quite, it's, it's uh, 
uh, pretty standard. Uh, How about take a look at the uh, Chinese input? Yeah, so this is something that Motorola is quite proud of apparently. So there's Chinese Press input, and then uh, you can actually do this, and you can go into a. Uh, so you get the standard handwriting. You can write here, or you can go into the full screen handwriting. Right. So you can go like. Uh, you know, and then they would actually be able to recognize, yeah. So it, it, it's, it's not bad. Yeah, I must say that it's, it's, it's pretty good. And the I Chinese think this handwriting. is one of the, one of the phone that already come with a full screen Chinese handwriting. Uh, yes, or yes. Or perhaps the only phone. I mean, the good thing is that they developed the whole uh, keyboard themselves, so yes. that, that, that's kind of cool. Um, the hardware-wise, this is actually running on the um, Cortex-A8 chip. So in case you're wondering, that's the same chip that's running on the Palm 3, as well as the iPhone 3GS. And, uh, you know, according to our very own NTT, he feels that the, the Cortex A chip, right? At least the, the, the Texas Instruments chips are probably more stable than the ARM chips, which is a uh, uh, sorry, not the ARM, the uh, Snapdragon chips, or the Qualcomm Snapdragon yes. chip. So this one is probably 800 megahertz. No, it's about 500. 500. 500. So it's running at 500. Okay, okay, understood. Yeah, so it's about 500 megahertz. Yeah, but it's, it's still not bad. Yeah. So, so how about the video, video itself? Uh, in video terms playback. Of the, uh, video oh, yes. recording. Video recording. Capture. Yeah, that's another thing. So this is something that. They're, quite, they're quite proud of as well, which is um, the ability to do a uh, HD video recording, 720p HD video. So it's an actual 720p. Yeah, actual 720p. Um, so that is 1280 by 720. In case anybody is wondering, um, so you can do uh, full HD, not full HD, sorry, 720p video, and yeah, not, not a lot of phones can do that today, lah. Yep. And actually, uh, what, what, you know, the HDMI can uh, output to HD TV and really displays it very well for the train. 720p recording. Yeah, so that's kind of impressive. Lah. I mean, to me, the, the HDMI thing, sure, no, a lot, not a lot of us are going to be using it uh, very often, but the fact that it's there, it's, it's kind of cool, lah, the HDMI port thing. So one of the things I really like about the uh, camera is the automatic panoram pa panorama oh, yeah. shot. Let's take a look at that. Which is really good. So by the way, the screen um, is a passive display uh, with uh, a little bit of tactile feedback. So the phone kind of vibrates a little bit uh, when when you press it, right? So uh, they have a panorama mode. So let's take a look. Uh, panorama. So that's sorry, the sorry. So I gotta go from uh, Menu, capture yeah. mode. So Pan panorama. Oops, sorry. Panorama. Panoramic. So uh, um, it's it's uh it's a little similar to uh, to uh, what it's like on the. Um, on the uh, what do you call it? Normal camera phones. These uh, Sony Alpha NEX five, which okay. we, we just uh, took a look at just a few days ago. Only. Let me do that again. Let's do up, move up, and then basically you just hit the camera button, and then uh, it should ask you to. So you just keep moving up, it and it'll just, oops, sorry, it will just. Oh, sorry, you missed that. It will uh, just automatically capture uh, and then they'll, they'll stitch it. So you just hit the camera button again to stop, I think. And it stitches up to six photo, uh, six um, pictures altogether. Yeah, so it's not very good because we did a lot of weird stuff yeah. with the phone just now. So, But it's, when we tested it out just now, it was pretty cool. Yeah, so I guess that, that, is, um, that is the uh, Motorola Milestone XT. So it will be on sale on the 10th of uh, 10th of June, 2010. Which is tomorrow, tomorrow on Thursday. Right, from Sahab. Uh, the most expensive cost will be 100 and 198 Singapore dollars, which we think is actually quite an attractive price. Yes, for the lowest uh, 3G Smart Surf 100 uh, plan. Yep. Yeah, so and then after, after that, the all the way down to zero dollars. Yeah. So yeah, if you're interested, you can go check out the Motorola Marsun XT. Uh, yep. We um, we've gone into quite a bit of detail, so our review will be kind of short when we get our hands onto a unit. We'll just tell you the overall experience of using it after a few weeks. So um, that's it for this uh, video, this episode. We will see you guys very soon. Bye. See you, bye.